What is happening, good people? Reverend JB here again, uh, Global John, part three of this What is Spiritual Warfare video series is how do we recognize the fight slash how do we fight? So first and foremost, I want you to get spiritually sensitive. Pray to God to better understand what is happening around you and how you experience it. You may feel it in your body. You may feel it in your gut. You may see visions and know that something is coming. Again, we're all gifted spirit, spiritually in different ways, but it, the, all of the gifts come from the Holy Spirit. Amen? All right. So um, also you can think of a, a, a threat as being spiritual um, spiritual warfare. So a threat of violence or, oh, this thing may happen or, oh, we're not sure. That is the reason why I said, you know what? Let me go to DC. I was already planning to go. And I didn't go to the actual inauguration and sit outside because everything was closed. Um, but also because I was staying with a family member who was in a very secure location. And I was just grateful to be able to be there and to do the domestic thing. So now that's how we recognize it. Just a little bit of how we recognize it. I really want to focus on how we fight. All right. Again, going back to Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. This is our playbook. All right. This is it. You got to read it. You got to know how we get through this thing. All right. Right? So the armor of God is the name of this section. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. And with the breastplate of righteousness in place. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in change. Chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. So now we know from scripture that 